The next entrepreneur into the tank tonight is James, with a business idea worth bottling. I'm so excited to present my product to the sharks. We're really shaking up the gifting industry. I have confidence in my product. It's unique, it's working in the market today already and we're going to unveil it to the rest of Australia. Hi Sharks, my name is James Willis and I'm the founder of the Mason Baker Gourmet Jar Cakes. Australians are spending millions of dollars every single year on gifting each other gifts. Whether they're sending flowers, chocolates or even gifting experiences. But it left me wondering, why is no one really sending cake? Well, there's a very good reason. Let's wind the clock back a year and a half. It's my sister's birthday and I was struggling to find her a gift. <laughs> So I decided to send her a batch of cupcakes. Now, when they arrived, it was evident that the courier had either tipped the box upside down or chucked them out the back of his van. These cupcakes now resemble pancakes. It was in this moment of sheer disappointment and seeing the look on my sister's face that I knew something had to change. So I went out, I partnered with a celebrity chef, Maggie Beer. Oh, Maggie. And I decided to put cake into a jar and thus the Mason Baker Gourmet Jar Cakes were born. All our jars are handmade and they're intricately laid into glass mason jars, sealed fresh, so they can be shipped to anyone, anywhere in Australia. I'm here today seeking $50,000 for a 15% stake in my business. So sharks, who's ready to grab their spoons and take a bite out of this sweet deal? You may now all have your cakes and eat them too. Ha. All right. Oh, excellent, well done. OK, James, so that's $50,000 for 15%, so you're valuing your business at $333,000. Correct. Hey, James, hey, uh, is Maggie Beer's cake up there? It is. We've got her Christmas pudding jars here. Can I have one of those, please? <laughs> Lovely. I can eat this now, can't I? Oh, good. There's a bit of alcohol in there, so... <laughs> All right. But there's a lot of sugar in it, isn't there? It's cake. What do you expect? It's cake, yeah. It's cake. <laughs> It's, it's, like, it's like a healthy lolly. It doesn't exist. You eat it for a reason. <laughs> Let me get you some more. Jars aren't big enough. No, you screwed up, mate. The jars aren't <laughs> big enough. Thanks, Steve. I'll work on that one for you. James, that is magnificent. Thank you very much. Tell us a bit about the journey that got you to wanting to work for yourself. I was working for Coles Supermarkets. I remember first starting my job, I went into stores and they said, where do you want to work? Check out, you know, groceries. And I said, bakery. Went to bakery and every day I spoke to the bakers, understood who the suppliers were, understood where everything was happening and what money was being made and what was being sold. It's from there and working in a big supermarket at Coles that I realised that that job, although it was fantastic and working with those people was fantastic, I knew I wanted to go on my own and do my own business. So I've always had this vision of sort of really shaking up the gifting industry. You know, there's flowers, everyone's sending that and no one's really sending cupcake. We've been sending cupcakes for years. But not in a jar. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> the outcome is the same. They get sweetly presented. The packaging's important, though. As you know, packaging's yeah, important. We send them beautifully gift boxed. So this is the guy that's going to disrupt the gifting industry. So you better give me some pedigree. So I have no culinary experience whatsoever. What I know is how to get a good group of people together, like being able to partner with a great people like Maggie Beer. Having her behind us with our Christmas pudding things has just been an unbelievable experience. You, you, you believe you've got some marketing edge over the top of other, other people? Correct. When you're in the delivery gifting game, uh, weight is important. Yes. So how much is it for you to make it and how much is it to sell it? Um, we've got a really good rate with um, our courier. We get overnight delivery anywhere in Australia. Um, for $12. I'm sorry, $12 for what? So you deliver it to your door. I'm assuming it's for... For anything up to uh, a pack of 24. So one, it's 12 So we don't sell one. So the minimum order you can spend is four. Can you give us some numbers we can work with respect to how much money you're making? So retail the jars for $8 online. So $8 per jar? Correct. The cake itself, labelled, fully packaged, for me to produce is $1.90. So this, this whole package is $1.90? Correct. Right. Do you charge delivery on top of it or is it included in the price? The customer pays for delivery. I've got a question for Naomi. Is that what people are spending on gifting? It's expensive, isn't it? Is that what consumers will pay? Yep, they will. It's about A, quality, and as long as it, they deliver on that customer promise, 
people will pay that and probably even more. Okay. Like a beautifully produced cake, you know, they're $80. 80, 80 bucks for a cake? Hey, James, I thought that was very nice. I'll, I'll eat anyone's plum pudding, to be honest, for Maggie Beers especially. Um, I, I think it's bloody fantastic. Tell it, James, I'll, uh, I'll give you a few less decisions to make. I think it's quite high for what you get, uh, regardless what Naomi said. Mate, it's not one for me. Uh, I wish you all the best. Well done. I'm out. OK, thanks, Steve. James, don't ever listen to what Steve says about pricing. If you value it too cheaply, then people won't think it's a quality product. Well, it is a gourmet product, yeah. Yeah, and if I'm going to send something as a gift, you want to make sure that that person feels that they've got something really special. So pricing is more than just what it costs you. It's about the perceived value. Yeah. Tell me where we're going to be in about three years from now if I give you 50 cut. We'll be uh, sitting around the 1.3 mil mark and then going further to $2 million probably in year three. All right, so you're doing 1.5 million in three years' time. Yes. You're going to pay yourself an obnoxious salary and I get no profit, or how's this going to work? Yeah, how do you support yourself? Yeah, you know, I'll do it on a shoestring and I'll live off, you know, a couple hundred bucks a week. Are you living at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how old are you now? 26. Good on you. Wow, that's impressive. Thank you very much. Business is a combination of character and strategy, and you've got so much character. I'm not sure about the strategy, though. I do like the product, but it's not for me this time. I'm sorry I'm out. Good luck. Thanks, Janine. Appreciate it. James, I'm um, struggling with this whole thing. You, you know, my favourite gift in a bottle is called wine. <laughs> <laughs> This is really just another version of, of a bottle of wine that you're going to give to someone. But I just can't get my head around when it's cake in a bottle, basically. So for that reason, I'm out. OK, appreciate that. So two sharks left. I have to tell you, a lot of entrepreneurs come in here and they don't have the answers to the questions. And you do. It's amazing. Thanks, Andrew. I'll make you an offer. I'll give you 50,000 for 20%. I'll give you 50,000 because of you. I'd like to just see where your journey's going. Thank you, Andrew, I can't appreciate it. That's fantastic, thank you so much. I have an obvious distribution model for your product. And I'm just beginning to think if maybe I would work with Andrew if we both gave the same deal and took 40% together. Seriously, James, you only want one shark. You, you, these two working together, it's like oil and water. Um, so the deal you're offering is 100 grand for 40% stake. Yeah, she's suggesting that instead of you taking $50,000 from me for 20%, that you take $100,000 for 40%. Okay. I'd love to work with you, but I think you're fantastic. Um, would, you, would you take 10% um, each, 25 grand each? I must admit, it's, it, over the years, it's become increasingly hard to work for small percentages. Yep. OK. Would you do it at 30? $50,000 for 30%. So we're really giving him two lots of $50,000 for 15% each, 30%. I'm happy to do that. You happy to do that? Are you, are you okay with it? I want, a, I want a happy business partner if I'm going to move forward. You want to do that? Yes, let's do we'll it. do that deal. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know where that drive comes from, but I'm going to find out. And I like it. We want to bottle that and much use appreciate it. it. Thanks, Andrew. Well done. Have a good day, guys. See yeah. you soon. Go Strawberries and cream. Appreciate it, guys. Take everything no, you want. Don't eat the yeah. profit. <laughs> Eating our profit, Steve. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate the donation. Got a deal. Pumped, so pumped. He is incredible. And, you know, I think it's a modest investment in the background of a 26-year-old who's going to go places. We're going to be there with him. <laughs>